Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect the Xiaomi Smart Camera C301 to your phone. So first of all we need to download an app, if you have Android you want to go to the Play Store and if you have iPhone you want to go to the App Store of course. You want to search for Xiaomi Home or Mi Home and this is the app that you need to install. So install it and of course once it is installed we need to open it. At first we need to agree to user agreement and privacy policy then we can reject the user experience program if we don't want to participate in it and then we need to select our region so we can scroll on the list in order to find our country or we can search and enter the name of our country. After that you should see the smart home menu. Now we need to press this plus button in the top right corner and then choose add device. You will need to have Xiaomi account so if you don't have your own account yet you will need to create one but you can quickly sign in using Facebook or Google, which is quite convenient, of course. And then after we sign in, once again tap on the plus and add a device. We want to allow detecting and connecting to nearby devices, so let's press allow, and there we go. Now we need to scan the code in order to add our device, so we can press this scan code to add button, which is located over here. Of course, we need to allow the app to uh, take photos in order to be able to scan the QR code and we need to scan the QR code that you have at the back over here. So scan this code, let me quickly do that. Then you will be asked to reset the device but before we move on first we need to uh, provide power and turn on our uh, Xiaomi smart camera. So in order to do that we need to use the USB cable that is of course included inside the box. At the back over here we have the power port here, so connect the Xiaomi Smart Camera C301 to the power adapter by using the USB cable, like this. Once it is connected it should turn on automatically, you can check that by uh, the light. If it's orange then of course it's working, it might rotate at first, so let's give it a couple of seconds. Over here at the back we have this speaker, which is quite loud actually, I think. So let's wait for the first voice to, to appear and soon we will need to perform the reset. And in order to do the reset we need to press and hold this button over here that we have above the uh, port, the power port. But let's wait for the voice first. If there is none then that's fine. Uh, however, we can start uh, pressing and holding the button, so I'm gonna press and hold, and then we need to keep holding until we hear the information that the device has been reset. There we go, we have reset successfully. And now let's get back to our device. So over here we can select the device reset and we will start scanning for device. This might take like a couple of seconds before it is done. And there we go. Uh, in my case it was actually successful. Uh, sorry for that, I cannot really turn this down. So uh, now we need to connect to the Wi-Fi. We can select Wi-Fi network over here. We will need to provide the password and then we have to agree to user agreement and privacy policy again and then we can go next. There we go, we are now trying to connect. We can bring our phone closer to the device in order to increase the chances. And there we go, the connection was actually successful without any issues. And there we go, we can press down or we can just wait a couple of seconds. Now we need to set up where we want to use our um, our camera. Of course this is just for us. We can just choose bedroom or we can create a new room and we can name it how we want. Let's go next. Then we can set the name for the camera. Let's go next. And uh, in my case I have additional setting which is of course optional. So you can turn on or off large cards on the home page. And I'm gonna actually turn this off and we can just go next. And you also should have the option to invite your family members to use together. In my case, I don't want to do that right now. And if you don't want to do that right now, you want to uh, choose don't prompt after that. Once again, agree to user agreements and privacy policy. 
And there we have our camera. We have some tools over here. We can enable the microphone. So if you want to talk to someone who is close to the camera, but you are not, you can enable the microphone and talk through your phone to someone. Uh, you can also take the photo so you can like capture the screenshot. We can enable uh, recording the voice, uh, not voice, the video recording option. And we also have this panel over here that allows you to move the, um, the camera up and down, left and right, and so on and so forth. And that's pretty much it. Keep in mind that in the case of this camera, we don't have 5G networks, so you cannot use that kind of Wi-Fi. You might also be asked to connect to the camera Wi-Fi or network, uh, which you should be able to find in the Wi-Fi settings. So you want to simply select it, if needed, of course. If you have issues with scanning the QR code, you also have the option to add the code manually. So you can press this button over here. But then from the list, you need to actually select video camera and then find it over here. So it's definitely easier to just scan the QR code if possible. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.